Hello guys, welcome back. This is a boy again. I'm Slink. I hope you guys are doing okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this video from. Please try as much as possible to like this video, comment, share it on all social platforms, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and I'm Slink Media. Please uh, also subscribe and click that bell notification to get updates anytime I upload. So guys, uh, see, I, I know, I don't understand what Yemi Alade and Pataraki are doing, honestly. I'm not comfortable with it anymore, seriously. You guys know how much I have this crush on Yemi Alade. Of course, I wish her well, but um, I wasn't ready. I don't know if they are doing a music video a project or they are actually getting married. Yesterday, Pasaraki was the first person to share these adorable, beautiful pictures of her and Yemi Alade. Wedding set, everything. And yet again, uh, Yemi Alade posted it later and she wrote, I'm only going where the love is. She wrote, I'm only going where the love is. I'm like, okay, this was supposed to be a music video. Then why are you saying you are going where the love is? Like, I don't understand. You are confusing us. Then he, she also wrote, it took a whole village plus my mom and dad. <laughs> are you hiding something from us? Because what I understand, I understand about this old picture is that you and Pataraki are working on a music video called Mourn Baby. Mourn Baby. So why? What is wrong? What is happening? Huh? Do not allow me to sense of spirituality to you guys who are. Huh? Come on, man. So adorable picture, guys. Adorable pictures. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Even Root Boy is not even happy about it. Say, who they deceive who now? You know, Root Boy and uh, Yemi Alade had a music video together, and that the title is Deceive. Well, guys, uh, for me, I still do not believe it. Oh, like I'm just, I'm just being optimistic, like you guys. I do not know if it's a music video or not. I'm not their management or somebody close to them i'm just seeing this picture just as you guys are seeing these pictures i don't really know or can tell what is happening is it wedding or is music video well whatever it is i think in maybe in less than 30 days or possibly a week we we surely know so let's keep looking and seeing how they are deceiving us and playing all those kind of pranks on us and meanwhile here is some here is what a lady recently wrote he said as a woman keep quiet whenever your husband is talking do you agree with that as a woman you are meant to keep your mouth shut whenever your husband is talking and it's a good thing that this is not even coming from a man or it's coming from a fellow woman like you guys she said Forget about being domesticated. If you cannot keep quiet when a man is talking, you are not a wife material. She sorry, she she didn't even say keep quiet when your husband is talking. Oh, she said, as a lady, if you cannot keep quiet when a man is talking, you are not a wife material. So guys, hear this hear this one. Oh, this is coming from a fellow woman not also so if you are talking to any girl and you are talking and that girl is talking but just know that that girl is not a wife material just just push that girl one side and listen to this advice if you want to listen to this advice also this is what uh, the other person is saying i think this is also okay this this man fearless man he said women with poor relationship with their father are a massive red flag when hiring up a woman for a prospective long-term romance, find out what her relationship with her father is like, as she may be set up to be a poor romantic prospect due to how she was or wasn't raised. So this guy is saying that whenever you want to have a long-term relationship, romantic relationship with any lady, you should check the relationship between that woman and her father that if they have good relationship yeah, of course it's a good one you can go with her but if they don't have good relationship you should stay clear of that woman well honestly 
see not all fathers are actually good there are still some really really wayward father out there that their their daughter won't want to go close to them so what will happen to those kind of girls does it mean that they they don't deserve to be to be in a relationship because i know a lot of friends i know people who don't have good relationship with their father because their fathers are cowards i know them it's not as if it's their fault but that doesn't mean that they are not romantic so please disregard this particular talk because there are a bunch of women being being from africa we know some fathers are really really wayward so please don't say because of b if you are going after a girl you should check her relationship with her father of course you should check you should check but do not use that to judge them if you must check check what is the cause the reason behind that woman not having good relationship with her father before you start because we cannot just keep judging this beautiful uh, uh, this beautiful women all around us erica said only broke girls date more than one guy every cheating girl is a hungry bay don't argue with me we know be mate only broke girls date more than one guys every cheaty girl is an angry bee hungry bee is an hungry girl any girl that cheats is a hungry girl only broke girls date more than one guy facts fat guys if your girlfriend is dating more than one guy if he's dating cheating on you then then you should know that see that your girlfriend is hungry it's hungry seriously hungry you are not feeling her well you are not feeling because it's only broke girls it's only broke girls that can cheat that can date more than one guy check it very well check it very well check it very well those people those ladies who are who are okay with what they have who are okay who are satisfied with what they have you can hardly see them <laughs> waiting one go me then cheat now waiting one go me then cheat nothing 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 at all and here's the extra mile a mom went to get a son hooked with a woman this man was the one that revealed he said my mom cracked me up every day she contacted her mom told her mom that she was that he was coming over he said good afternoon mom i'm coming over next month to take you out for val told his mom that he is coming to take her out on valentine and her mom responded why don't you have a girlfriend to take out she said mom i'm still single and she said shame on you my dear even your younger brother have one will well i'm traveling next month but i will see you i will see what i can do <laughs> this guy contacted his mom told his mom that he was coming over to take her out on Valentine to surprise her on Valentine. And the first thing her mom has for that, don't you have a girlfriend to take out on Valentine? Ah, uh, don't you have? Why do you want to take me out on Valentine Day? Don't you have? And he told his mom that he doesn't have. And the mom was disappointed. He said that even your younger brother have a, uh, have a girlfriend. Even your younger brother have a girlfriend. What is wrong with you? No, you guys go out there and be stable. Have a stable girlfriend. Have one girlfriend. He's not proud for a young, vibrant guy, good looking, normal. It's only abnormal people who don't have who, who are not in a relationship. Of course, it's understandable if you just broke up. But come on. Why are you not in a relationship? Why? Why are you not in a relationship? Why? Why? Hmm? Why are you not in a relationship? Tell me why. Are you abnormal? Go and get yourself a girlfriend, guy. Go and get yourself a girlfriend. Get yourself hooked up. And uh, talking about relationship, here's a man. He said his lifelong dream is to have 40 children. And this man guess is he guess his uh, occupation. He's a carpenter. The man this man is a carpenter a carpenter saying that uh, uh well according to him he said he said my childhood dream is to father 
at least 40 children. Capital say as she welcomes his 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13 children within three weeks. And this man from Bauchi State, from Bauchi, speaking with the leadership, he said, Babies are a gift from Allah, and I am happy that my four wives gives gave birth to three bouncy boys and a girl within just three weeks. Polygamy runs in my blood. In fact, we inherited it from both our maternal and paternal grandparents. My mother's father buried four wives, likewise my dad's father. Yes, it might sound funny, but I am so proud of this achievement. Growing up as a child, I used to pray to Allah to bless me with 40 children and people laugh at me. You know everybody has their ideology and you cannot force a particular ideology on someone. I've said this, bearing family responsibility is not solely in, the, in our hands as husband, rather it is in the hand of our creator. Oh God, oh God, he's <laughs> listening again, he said, he said, wait, I don't think you guys heard that. Say, you know, everybody has their own ideology, and you cannot force a particular ideology on someone. Heaven said this bearing family responsibility is not solely in our hands as husbands, rather, it is in the hands of our Creator. Look, Allah con command us to start by marrying two wives, then proceed to three wives, then four wives, and He said, if you can. If you cannot be just among them, go for one more wife. Go for one wife. Okay, he said, if you cannot be just among them, go for one wife. It is wrong for an individual to subscribe to the ideal of family planning because of fear of poverty. It is rather better to space between one child and another to give both the mother and the baby requires care and attention before bringing another one. I have 13 children now, 10 boys and 3 girls. Oh God, oh God, I'm even sick reading that. Oh God, oh God, future are imageries, future are imageries. <laughs> Oh God, oh God, oh, these northern people, so these northern people. Kai, this man from Bauchi, he say that raising children is not solely on the hands of, or, of, the, of the husband, that is, it's in the hands of the creators. To feed your children, 40 children, who's going to feed them for you? Who's going to feed them? Who's going to take care of them? Or do you think you can live that long to take care of your 40 children? Who's going to love them equally? Oh God. Man, see uh, Oh God. The thing, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> He said you cannot sell any ideology to him that what he is thinking that they're gonna have those 40 children. Ah, no, wow. I I I I this everywhere. So well uh this is what uh PA to David said recently. He said his name is Alomo, a former PA to David. O. He said it's not advice to join any fraternity court group. But if you are one already and we are killing ourselves, I am not sorry to say you are very foolish. Why can't we channel our aggression towards the government and fight for our rights? 2021 be wise. Ah. This is the first time I'm hearing a court person actually talking sense. You said it's not advisable to list it now if you are in school, university or polytechnic. This is one guy who has been in court. He's still a court member. He is telling you now that it's not advisable to join court. But if you are 
one or if you are in one already why don't you channel your aggression in fighting the government to give you better life fighting for your own right instead you are channeling that aggression on your fellow human being that you guys are suffering together does it really make sense i said this thing. i said it during uh, during the hensas period i said it that it seems like our problem in this country as youth has, has something to do with spirituality it seems like we are just because if you see court members fighting today if you see them fighting themselves they want to kill they want to kill themselves but <laughs> or pressure from the police from the soldiers or pressure from the government better lifestyle better good care health care i'm telling you they don't fight or they are in their room sleeping i like cold water what is your problem guys what is your problem hmm? what is your problem eh? what is your problem well uh that's the first time you supposed to learn or uh, also before i forget we have another man who loves children and uh, that is a person of Ned Walker, Roger and Daniel's husband, who is married to six wives already. <laughs> I think it's even that that man who has uh, four wives is even much more better than the, the Ned Walker. But the only difference is that Ned Walker is super rich and can take care of his children, or he can take care of them well. He's not complaining, he can take care of them well. And meanwhile, that man is poor. The fact is that, uh, Dead Walker recently celebrated his wife 30th birthday. 30th birthday. Then he sound he, he gave me this kind of cold feet like this man really loves to marry his wife young. He love he loves young vibrant guys, girls. So young men, young men, your wives, your wives, your future wives have been married. By this old old man they are collecting your your wife so this man recently is celebrating his wife or is one of his wife 30th birthday 30th birthday guys so young men out there all those old old men are out there to get all your wives and lila will be 30 years in a few days time it feels like yesterday it has been 10 beautiful years amazing how she has matured over the years wow so he got married to this lady when she was just 20 years old <clears throat> this man uh, they like them younger young and fresh young and fresh no wonder he said he's as is he is after virgins it's after virgin I, I i believe this man has been confused all his life if that me confused this sorry not confused has, has been deceived all his life Maybe that they give him um, Mrs. Fork. Then he would think saying uh actual virgins. I don't know. <laughs> and uh also uh Andy Helly here to start conducting tests on coppers, undergraduates and others. NDLEA, Nigeria Drug Law Enforcement Agency, said that they will start conducting tests on coppers uh undergraduates and others well you guys sh should get ready and meanwhile please ndlas we want you to start conducting tests on our government officials the senator the house of rep our president the vice president and all of them because it seems like whatever they, it seems like they are drugged with all these rules and all this uh, economic policy and all those things that they are saying I think you, you you should start checking their capacity if they are not smoking because we know that there have been numerous tourists that they are actually taking cocaine and all those things over there because how can a country government said that we need social distances that corona is active and at the same time they are telling us to do this national identification number nil at the same time knowing fully well that that process we take a lot of crowds and they are telling us to have social distancing <laughs> so <laughs> all those people making that kind of policy are you sure they are not crazy and a crazy man is man who will take ganja and uh sars are still operating here's a video recently that was that has been trending online 
and this has to do with uh, some SaaS operative police let me say police force operative uh, according to the person who shared it he said sorry he said this man shot at me he shot at my side mirror my people and I'm not safe these people blocked me again and this guy shot at me we will do show now post it and let it go viral these stupid people are out again with crack squat and I and I identify all of them as the former SARS tools that terrorize us and SARS and SARS now. The police promised us that see, there will be no SARS member that we join this recent crack. I don't know what is crack squad. What is crack squad? It's crack squad. I don't understand. Is anything like crack squad? The police never told us that they have they have brought a new group called Cracked Squad. <laughs> this country. <sighs> See, I'm of the opinion that please allow citizens to start carrying firearm. Let us defend ourselves. Authorize firearm for us. Eh? This law in USA they are trying to abolish, they are, they are saying to control the firearm. Yes, it might not be good for them because the securities are actually doing their job. Bring it here to us. If we work here, allow us to carry firearm. Let us defend ourselves. Since you guys cannot handle this whole situation, crack squad. I've never heard of that one. I've never heard of that. But it seems like they are out there operating. Well, God will help us. To end this video, here's a man that was recently sacked because he went out to bury his mom. Painful. Uh, the person who, who reported it is a supposed brother to the man. He said, "My mom died. He died. My mom died this month. My brother informed his employer and missed five days of work." He went back to work this morning and he was being fired and replaced. Make of this what you will, but when he hits the fan, is your employer still a fan? The poor guy is distracted and uh, disappointed. I am not even surprised because I know how capitalism works. Well, this guy went to bury his mom, took permission for five days, he came back, he was uh, sacked and replaced. So, 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 so sad. At least, have human feelings now. Have human feelings. Human feelings. We know you are right. You might be right in sacking him because of, uh, we are in Nigeria, there's no appointment letter. No appointment letter. But at least have human feelings. Human, f we are asking you to have human feelings in whatever you are doing. Just have a little bit of human feelings. Be you have humanity in you. Well, thank you guys. It's your boy Gadam Slinker. Have a wonderful day. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Stay tuned and keep supporting. Uh, don't forget to like this video, comment, share it on all social platform. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam Slink Media. And uh, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.